Hello there and welcome. I am Ole Brygger. If you're new here, I really hope I've earned your subscription today. We are here at my workshop and I got a new toy that I'm very excited about. So let's get started. Since I was a kid, I've always been fascinated by lasers. I saw them in movies like Star Wars and I even got a laser pointer. And it was very fun to play around with, with my cats and making it tired. But now it got serious. I got my hands on this K40 laser from Vivor. Vivor is one of the companies that imports K40 machines and they are dirty cheap. Vivor imports and distributes them only in Europe, I think. If you want it in the US side or North American, you need to uh, reach out to Omtech, I think it's called. They have some various models as well. This one is very simple. It only has an ampere meter, an adjustment and some buttons, laser switches and on off. And this is just the basic model and I think uh, it will make it easier to make some modifications to it. But before we start, I must make a note. Lasers are dangerous. This is not a toy, it's a tool. You need to consult professionals and make sure to take all safety precautions. I'm not a professional, I had to reach out to a friend who is a professional and he helped me setting up this machine. When I got this machine, hey, I thought I was prepared and bought a container for water, which is needed for water cooling. Then I bought some demineralized water, which in my head should be enough, but no. I found out I needed a ton of more stuff. I needed an air pump for air assists. So I bought this aquarium pump and I bought a new head that supported this air assist, which the original didn't. But as it turned out, that wasn't enough. I found out the whole frame was crooked, but with help from my friend, we basically took the whole machine apart and put it back together again with some modifications to make it better airflow. And we installed some safety features and a better bed with a larger cutting area. But this time we also installed a third head with adjustable mirrors on the top, but something was still wrong. I adjusted mirrors for hours and I could not get them aligned properly, no matter what I did. So I went back to Amazon and I bought a full set of new mirrors, mirror holders and a new head. The mirrors would still not align properly. So what the hell was wrong? I was almost giving up, but then I found out that the top rail was crooked. There was almost a difference in half a centimeter as five millimeters and it just didn't run correctly. And I got that fixed and everything worked as it should. I also ended up skipping the aquarium pump since it did not provide enough airflow. So I just hooked up my workshop compressor instead. Now I can do some real projects and I'm looking forward to see what this machine actually can do. I will come up with some more modifications for this machine and I will take you along. But now I've had it for a couple of weeks and I can't wait to make some of my new model work on it. I think this machine is a great supplement to my 3D printer in my model making workspace. And now I will give you a demonstration of how dangerous these machines actually are. If you operate with a laser, while it is open, you must always use safety glasses. And I will put mine on now. You only have your two eyes, so protecting them is very important. Now I will expose this tomato for the laser on one short burst of the lowest power. And you can see what happened. And in the end, I will also show you what happened when I accidentally hit my hand with it when I was adjusting the mirrors. Have fun and take care of yourself if you get your own laser. Make sure to reach out to someone who knows what they're doing because safety is the most important feature here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon with some more projects using this laser. Goodbye for now.